Say something for the podcast. Tell the people what you feel. I'm just jazzed about being on the show, man. You are listening to The Objective Jerk, where objectiveness is the objective, and I am said jerk. What's going on? <clears throat> this is The Objective Jerk, and I'm said jerk. How's everyone doing? Hope everything, everybody's not stressing too much. For those that are Trump supporters, you know, with the conviction and all that kind of crap, the freaking horse manure that has become our legal system with all this. It's insane. Um, you know, and it's not even, like, I'm not really upset about, you know, because it's going to get overturned. It's, it's it's all such bullshit. But the fact is that they're doing it and they're getting away with it. You know what I mean? And that's the thing that some people just don't realize. You know, I think there's people out there that generally think MAGA is evil and we need to stop it and they're and everything they're doing and and whatever they think they're doing for good you know and it's much like the people in the Nazi regime you know that oh you want to kill a bunch of Jews okay I guess it's better okay well you know they just kind of go along with it and they end up believing you know that's how it's just I can totally see how and why the Nazi regime was able to be successful and how people went along with it because it's happening now. You know, I can understand not being, you know, being a Democrat or, you know, not liking Trump, but to sit there and like be okay with not, I mean, just take a, just take a second and sit back and just look at the whole picture, all the crap they're doing, the judge, how they're all like, you know, huge Democratic supporters, and it was just a lot of biased, like, he shouldn't have been the judge. And then telling the jury to, oh, you don't have to, you know, everybody doesn't have to agree. You know, you can think, oh, he's guilty on some, and you're guilty on, as long as you think he's guilty, what was it, like, for four of the things, then, you know, he'll be guilty, you know, instead of unanimously how it's supposed to be. So, you know, the whole thing is just rigged. And people don't see that. They just think like, oh, Trump is guilty. They got him. They don't. And the thing is, like I said, what's sad, like I'm not worried about Trump, man. Trump's, he's he's going to win. <laughs> he is. You look at the polls. You look at everything going on. They're trying their damnedest. And all it's doing is making him stronger. So that's why I'm not really mad about it. Because it's just, it's it's like Godzilla getting hit with nuclear bombs, just making him stronger, you know, or uh, the what's his face on the Superman, you know, when they're trying to blow him up and it just made him more powerful. That's, that'd be a good meme. Anyway. Um, uh, I totally lost my train of thought. So what's up? Hey, Christine, if you're listening. Recently caught up with an old high school friend. And, um, I mean, we've been friends on Facebook, but she didn't know about my little podcast. So I had mentioned it and she was like, oh, I'm going to listen to it. So if you're listening to it, Christine, I hope you're having a good day at work. Um, let's see. Uh, I went on a little, I wasn't even planning on talking about that, to be honest. Yeah, I just kind of went on like a little rant. I'm so close to the microphone. So, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the whole reason I kind of want to talk was the Mike Tyson fight against uh, Jake Paul, right? I haven't, I haven't watched any of Jake Paul's fights, um, but, you know, I keep track. I keep track of that. I keep track of a lot of stuff. I just don't watch it. You know what I mean? Like, after, after WrestleMania, I watched a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, after certain fights... Like, I wouldn't mind watching some UFC fights again. It's just, it's kind of, it's a little bit more of a chore to get it here. So, I've been watching, like, Formula One and Rally Car and stuff. But, I keep tabs on all that stuff, you know. So, um, you know, and it appears that Jake Paul, is a, he's, he's, a, he's a fighter, you know. Yeah, he was started off on YouTube and stuff like that. But, he legitimately he fucking whooped my ass. I know that. You know, I'm not a, I'm not, I mean, I can, I've been trained in certain things long ago, but I don't train now and, you know, I train differently. And so, yeah, he'd probably whoop my ass. 
I'd have to fight dirty. Anyway, um, so he's fighting Mike Tyson, right? Which Mike Tyson's like 57, 58, something like that. Uh, and he would whoop my ass still, you know. I mean, he, you can see the age, you know. He's definitely older. He's showing his age. But when you watch some of those training bouts, you're like, oh, man. It's like, it's going to be interesting. And then I didn't even know that it was going to be on Netflix. It's going to be live on Netflix, which is, that's the only thing I watch. If I watch movies or anything, it's just Netflix. That's all I have. For those that listen, they know. Uh, I don't, you know, I've tried Apple. I, I, you know, I had a little bit of everything for a while, but I just got rid of it all. So Netflix is the only thing um, that we have. So anything that comes on <clears throat> Netflix is, you know, it's cool. I didn't watch the roast of Tom Brady. Don't care. I don't like Tom Brady. Um, but it's cool. You know, it was live. You could watch it. And then... Same with like Cat Williams. I watched Cat Williams newest stand up and I was, man, it just was not funny. Like I didn't laugh one. I stopped it. Like I was, I watched more than half of it and I, I didn't laugh at all. And then, but I was like in the mood. So then I watched, um, dang, what's his name? He's a guy. He's kind of popular now. Big goofy looking white dude. He he got fired from SNL. What's his name? I got to look up his name real quick. I think he's got a new show on Netflix. I'm see if I can look it up that way. But I watched his, and dude, I was laughing my ass off. And then people be like, well, who are you racist because you like the white guy, not the black. It's like, no, man. The comedian is a comedian. They're funny or they're not. Um, you know, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, dude, you know, that's what I grew up on. I was a little kid watching those. I remember my, my parents watching those, and, and I... Uh, you know, would sneak and kind of watch a little bit and learn some stuff I probably shouldn't. But anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't care. I mean, I, I'll i watch a female comedian, but I kind of have a hard time. Like, I, I don't, just most of the ones that I've I've watched, I just didn't think they were funny. Um, okay, so I'm on the thing. I'm trying to find out, like, where's the little info? Sorry, I'm on Netflix right now. I'm trying to look up the info on this show before. I want to get the guy's name. (laughs) Everybody's like, that's listening to it probably. Dude, it's, you're such an idiot. So-and-so, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Oh, oh, duh, right there. Okay, come on. Uh, Dude, why does it keep doing that? All right, here we go. Shane Gillis. There we go. Jeez. That was a that was crazy. Hold on. My wife's uh messaging me in real time. Oh crap. I um there's something on the stove that I have to turn off. I'm just gonna leave it recording. I'll edit it out. Hold on. I am back. All right. Had some cooking on the stove, it's been on there for a while. I think it's like oxtail or something. Actually, so my wife this morning, she um, she left and she was like, hey, I got some oxtail. It's got to cook for a while, so just don't forget about it. And, of course, I forgot about it. And then I was actually going to uh, do something else in the stove, and I noticed it was on. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh, crap, that's right. I open it up, bone dry, fat is starting to crisp. I'm like, oh, crap, and I have to, like, scrape it. I had a bunch of water, you know. I think it's going to turn out, actually, good. It looks and smells really good, so it might be a new way to cook it, but... Turned out all right, but yeah, it was almost a catastrophe. So, don't you hate that when you forget something, you're cooking something, you go back and like a whole layer, the whole bottom layer is like burnt to a crisp. Anyway, damn it, what was I talking about? Oh, Shane Gillis. So I watched him, never watched any of his stuff, but I thought his stuff was hilarious, man. The the Australian accent with 9-11. So, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Um, but anyway... So yeah, Netflix, right? I don't watch it too often, but it's nice to have it when I, you know, plus having a VPN, you know, click on Germany, click on England or whatever and see what they got available. Um, So that's always nice. But yeah, that's it, Netflix. So my kids actually told me that this fight was going to be on Netflix. So so now I'm excited. I'm excited to watch this. So I've been kind of keeping tabs on it a little bit more. 
because uh gonna watch it it's in july i guess but anyway there is some speculation or some rumors going on about the fight which i wouldn't be surprised i hope they're not true but basically somebody heard that there's some contractual clauses saying basically if mike tyson knocks Jake Paul out, he's going to make less money. So they don't want him to knock Jake Paul out. They want them to go, you know what I mean? They don't want to do the old school Mike Tyson, you know? <laughs> people people pay $50 for pay-per-view, get to the fight, and then it's over in the first round. Um, it's like that uh, that episode of Friends where they're watching a UFC fight with like their friend or something is in it. And there's like people barbecuing in the back, and one of the characters comes up and is like, Hey, the fight's starting, the fight's starting. And he goes back, they talk for a minute, it's like 15 seconds later, and he comes up, Fight's over. <laughs> you know, that was basically Mike Tyson's fights. I remember as a preteen, you know, that's when Mike Tyson was big. So, late 80s, you know, I knew of Mike Tyson, and I think I watched one fight, my dad ordered one. Obviously, Mike Tyson's punch out on Nintendo, which was ridiculous because it was so fucking hard. Like, I mean, you, the first couple ones, it was, uh, you know, you learned the, the pattern and everything, but it was just like my brother, he was a little better at it than me. So I would play and then I'd get pissed off and then he would play and I would just cheer him on. But, God, it was like Soda Pop Inski. Who was the... I'm going to look those up, actually, real quick. I noticed my... Uh, so, yeah, my... What do you call it? My podcasts are a little longer than normal. I've been doing them. But i just not in the mood to do them very often. So now when I do it, I'm kind of doing it longer. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I had some friends that were listening, you know, a while back that they liked the the 20-minute you know, because it was like they would just listen to it on the way to work. So they don't want And if they don't get to listen to the whole thing, they're not going to get back to it because it's, I mean, quite frankly, you know, all I'm doing is bullshit in here. I'm not really. It's not like anybody's missing out. <laughs> anyway, Mike Tyson's punch out. Let's see. List of characters. Okay, so Little Mac. No, you're Little Mac. Yeah, so that's your character. So Doc Lewis, Glass Joe, Piston Hurricane, opponents introduced. I don't remember him. Babe Bull, Bald Bull, I think I remember him. Kid Quick, Pizza Pasta, Mr. Sandman, Super Punch Out, Bear Hugger. Dude, okay, there's Soda Popinski, Great Tiger. I need to see some pictures. I don't remember some of these names. I think maybe these are from other games that came out. Now there's like a, I can't remember which band it is that there's a, you you guys remember like the song, the music for Mike Tyson's punch outs when he's doing the training where it shows him riding the bike along the Harbor in New York or whatever has that music. There's a band that I listen to, but I can't remember which one it is. And they have a song that has very similar notes to that. I wonder if they kind of got it from that. But every time I hear it, I think of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. <clears throat> but I can't think of a part of the Punch Out series. So it was a series, but I think I had the first one. Taking the championship of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks again for listening to The Objective Jerk. I greatly appreciate it. If you could uh, like, subscribe, comment on wherever you're finding this, and you can also email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. So, hope you're enjoying it, and please continue on with the episode. See, hold on. I think I only played the first one. I'm looking for...
Punch out. So just punch out. Let me do that one. But no, because it was Mike Tyson, though. So they had punch out, and then they added Mike Tyson. Hold on. Punch out. Arcade. So they had punch out, and then it was Mike Tyson's. Mike Tyson's punch out. Never got to play against them, dude. Could never get there. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, let me see. No, this is where I was at. Dude, what the hell? I was trying to see the... Some of those character names, I just don't remember. But anyway, like we got up to... I want to say like six or seven, and that's the farthest we could get. You know, and that was... That was back in the day, Nintendo, man. You had to start all over at the beginning every time. Suck balls. Unless you learned how to get the the 100 guys on Mario Brothers. You guys ever do that? Where it was like on the second level or the second world, second level or first level or something. I can't remember. You get the turtle and you just jump up and down on the turtle shell right before the steps to the to the flag. And you get a bunch of guys and that's the only way you could really win the game. Good times. Good times. Anyway, Mike Tyson. He's like Donald Trump. I've basically known who he is my whole life. Um, guy was pretty aggressive and crazy. He's toned down a little bit. I remember watching him on a podcast where he's talking about like he doesn't want to box again because it brings out that kind of whatever out of him. So with that said, I'm kind of thinking that he just doesn't really care about losing the fight. He's just going to make the money. And that's it. But I don't know. So what? I'm doing a podcast. So Frotch said, I don't know who Frotch is. From what I'm hearing with the contracts, allegedly Mike Tyson gets paid less if he wins in round one, which is like classic Tyson, right? Or if he gets knocked. Or if he gets a knockout, he gets paid even less. There are restrictions in his contract based on how he wins. I don't know if it's been confirmed, but I've read somewhere that there's a clause in his contract that means he's going to earn less money if he goes out there and destroys Jake Paul, which is kind of bullshit. But the the you know the point where he's at in his life, Mike Tyson, I don't think he cares. You know, he's gonna fight, he's, you know, from from past things I've seen of him and heard him talk. He doesn't want to be the old Mike, you know what I mean? So it's, I don't know. Honestly, I hope that contract is real and I hope he goes out there and he fucking knocks him out in the first round (laughs) and then donates some money to somebody. I don't know if he needs the money. I don't think so. He's got, you know, his own stuff going on. He's popular again beating up people on airplanes. So, I don't know. We'll see. A lot of people are like, you know, he's just too old and Jake Paul is actually pretty good. And that's true. Um, But, you know, like, that's what Mike Tyson was born to do. We don't know if that's what Jake Paul is born to do yet. You know what I mean? Still up in the air. I'm going to have to like do some editing on the the video side of this because it's going to be all jacked up because I just let it record on the video and when I have to stop it for the audio, I'll stop it. But my wife comes in and I'm like, what the hell, man? Well, that's probably, I'll probably leave that in there, but <clears throat> yeah, see, I don't record podcasts enough for her to, you know, I've said it before in the past, like if the door's locked then that means, you know, I'm recording a podcast. I don't like to do it when somebody's around, you know what I mean? Like I'm not going to. I'm not going to be 
uh, genuine and honest with myself. If somebody's here listening, which is stupid because, you know, people listen to this. It's not like it's a little audio journal. I mean, that's kind of how I treat it, sort of, but it's not what it is. Anyway, Mike Tyson, let me know what you guys think. You think that contract's real? You think if there is no contract and Tyson's out to win, do you think he's got a chance against Jake Paul? To be honest, I've only seen highlights of Jake Paul fighting. I've never watched a fight of his. So this will be my first fight watching of Jake Paul. And man, it's going to be my first uh, watching of Tyson since the 90s. I think when he got out of prison, I watched that first fight. I missed the, the ear biting one, though. With Holyfield. I think I did anyway. I don't I want to say I didn't watch it. But anyway, yeah, so that's crazy. Um, let's see. I'm only at 20 minutes. Wow. I feel like I've been talking forever. You wouldn't turn off the stove. That's crazy. Let's see. What are you guys all doing? Let's see. What am I doing? What am I doing? So I've been saying, you know, that's one of the reasons I haven't. Oh, I noticed. That's what I wanted to say. My my podcast where I talked about Quentin Tarantino and Zack Snyder and some. Most of my film ones seem to do better, except for The Crow. When I talked about The Crow, I don't think that one did. And so, you know, if I was a smart person, that's what I would focus on, I guess, is talking about films and stuff. But I don't want to. I'm just, I'm kind of done with Hollywood and and the whole film, everything. I mean, sometimes I'm in the mood too, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to watch movies and do reviews and stuff like that. Uh, I just... I just don't want to. You know, I was going to watch that Atlas movie with Jennifer Lopez that's on Netflix. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot, you know. But then I just heard such horrendous things about it. So I'm like, ah, uh, man, I don't know. And that's the thing. I, you know, I know I saw the clip where it's like the the AI uh, mech suit thing or something. I don't know. It's like, oh, well, those aren't my pronouns. It's talking about pronouns and shit. And I'm just like, oh. So I know if I would have been watching it at that point, I would have turned it off because I've been like, oh, my God, here we go. It's just fucking annoying. So that's why I don't, <clears throat> that's why I don't gosh, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why I don't watch anything anymore because most of the time it's got that crap in it. It's like, what can't, I don't know. They're trying to make it like, oh, that's, that's the norm. That's society and stuff. But it's like, it's not. It's a very small percentage. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so movies, I don't, I just, I don't know been disappointed so much in the last four years with movies that I just, I don't, I used to be a big movie buff too, you know? Um, but so I'm trying to get, find some other hobbies, I guess. So like this podcast was the first thing I did once I moved here. Um, I'm brewing some beer now. I bought a brew kit a while ago and I brew a few, some beer and then I didn't touch it for a long time, like six months, but I'm trying to get back into that. Um, what else? Gonna make some shirts. I haven't printed any shirts yet. Trying out uh, whiskey. Oh, that's kind of a new thing. So I'm kind of trying to get into whiskey and bourbon. Not to, you know, get drunk. I don't like to. I don't like being drunk. I mean, just like a little light buzz. Once I get to that point, then I'm like, "Eh, I'm good. Uh, But I've never been a huge whiskey drinker. But, you know, the only time I ever did drink it was either shots or, you know, it was Jack and Coke or something, which, you know, wasn't bad. But, you know, you mix soda. That's usually when you get your worst hangovers. But anyway, so I was like, you know, what, I'm going to give it a shot, buy a couple different bourbons. I guess bourbons is the the best way to get into it. Um, And just kind of. Have like, you know, two classes at night before bed just to kind of help me sleep as well. Um, Because right now I take melatonin, which isn't bad, I guess, but it's like, I don't know, sometimes, I don't know, I just don't like the way I feel in the morning sometimes. So, so I've been having like nightcaps, I guess you would say, you know, I'm not going to drink throughout the day. I'm not a drinker, but just to have like two glasses at the most three and just kind of let it just kind of warm me up, you know, and and subside my anger and anxiety, I guess. I mean, because it does, you know, with liquor, it's like 
it's it's a you gotta be careful, you know, because like you get to a certain point, and then you get you drink too much, and then you start getting angry and start thinking about stuff and getting pissed and all that, and that's not what I want. I do that enough, you know, sober. So just trying to find something to kind of get a little enjoyment to help me relax and then help me sleep, which I know people are like, oh no, it's gonna, you know, it's like it starts with two glasses and then it gets to four and then just progresses. I know that. I understand that. Um, so at that time, I'll, you know, like tonight, I'm not going to drink any. I'm just going to take my melatonin. And um, and kind of the other reason, too, is like I've never been a big whiskey drinker. Like it doesn't taste good to me. Maybe eventually it will be. I guess if I keep doing it, I'll, you know, develop a palate and find stuff that I like and everything like that. But I just, you know, I'm very antisocial. I'm very just grumpy. I don't want to do nothing with anybody. I don't drink. I mean, I used to drink, but I just, you know, my dad had drinking problems. It just runs in my family. So I just kind of stayed away from it. But then it was like, I just kind of was like, I don't know. I think I fell upon a video. People talking about whiskey or something on YouTube. And I just kind of was like, you know, maybe I can just drink it like I just, you know, talked about. Have a few drinks. Maybe start incorporating some people over, start talking again, being a little social, not being so angry. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of what I've been doing, dealing with. Let's see what else. Oh, mangoes. So it's like um, harvesting mangoes. My wife has some property that has mangoes. And um, so they just harvest them like a company that makes mango products. They will spray your trees for you and then they'll come and um harvest them and take them to their whatever and then you know you get she gets paid i mean it's not it's not a lot as long as she has just acres and acres of mango trees but you know it's it's something gives her something to do and plus we have mangoes to eat every once in a while which are man the mangoes here are so freaking good you know i've had mangoes in the states these are like little mangoes right here let's see this is what i'm kind of eating it It's a small one, but they're really good. Um, So I eat when it's like she harvests some mangoes because she brings some home. I'll eat like two a day. Really good. That's the other thing too is like bananas here. Dude, bananas are so good. So much better in the States. Anyway, well, it's 27 minutes. Um, I think I'm going to call it good. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think about the fight or anything I've talked about. Anybody that actually knows me in person that listens to this, send me a little something. Let me know. I'm just curious. I don't want to say something negative about you. (laughs) No, but, uh, anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye. You just put yourself through another episode of the objective jerk. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Uh, please email me at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, wherever you find this, follow. It all helps. Uh, but thanks again, and I'll see you next time.